Rogan, the executive director of the Greater Utica Chamber of Commerce. We are very excited today to be back in the ribbon cutting game. We are here doing our first ribbon cutting since the beginning of the year, and we are very excited to be doing it with the folks behind me. So we are standing here at the beautiful, brand new Home Two Suites by Hilton Utica, and it is a gorgeous hotel here. We are so excited to be telling you about this today. And if you don't know where we're located here, we're on North Genesee Street. You can't miss it when you're driving by the beautiful construction. So we're gonna tell you all about the hotel today, and we're gonna show you some pictures of the inside, and we hope that you really get to uh, experience what Home Two Suites is all about. So first, before we get to hearing from the folks at home too, I would like to introduce our wonderful mayor, Rob Palmieri of the city of Utica. So mayor, would you like to say a few words? A few words. Uh, first and foremost, good morning to everyone. It's certainly nice to be out in a refreshing October day without the rain and having family surrounded by us. And when I'm talking about family, I'm, I'm talking about my partners in government. We have the Congressman Brindisi, along with Assemblywoman Muttenshan, we have my good friends, the Patels, who have made this possible, the Bank of Utica, and all these people behind us that are the foundation of the growth of our city. So home two, uh, if we look around the surrounding area, um, as the city has grown, you have to have partnership. And the Patels go beyond that scope. As I said, they are part of the family. They are part of the fiber of the rebirth of our great city. They are part of the resurrecting of, of people said it can't be done. We're now at the harbor. We're at North Genesee Street where it's all happening between the odd and our downtown, uh, our, our great lofts that we have and all our great eateries. And it's all because someone, the Patels, have looked at the vision and that's part of their, their name, but it's true. Their vision of seeing a community that they're part of and the growth of it. So I'm here just to say how honored I am to be the first and what we look at is a series of more ribbon cuttings with our partners, with the fact that we look overlooked in the harbor. We're looking at a, a necessity, the home too, because of our growth. People have to stay someplace. They have to stay a place that they feel comfortable, that's clean, and that makes them feel that they're at home. So to the Patels, I say thank you. My brother, thank you for what you have done for our city, what you continue to do, and I look forward for our continued growth in this great city of Utica, New York, where we will be the best little city in America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. That's right. That's what we all hope that the city of Utica will be in our whole region, right, Mayor? Um, okay, so now I'm going to have you turn over the mic to Kevin. Kevin, come on up. So Kevin Bartlett is the Vision uh, Visions Hotels Area Sales Manager for the Mohawk Valley. And Kevin, tell us why you guys are so excited to open. Thank you, Megan. And thank you, Mayor. Uh, we are super excited to open our Home Two Suites by Hilton. Uh, it will be the first and only extended stay property in the Utica area. And at Visions, we feel that fills our niche of uh, we have our Doubletree Hotel, which is our full service hotel with the iconic restaurant. We also have our Holiday Express right behind us, our Fairfield Inn and Suites, and also our Hampton. And it's a perfect fit. And with everything that's going on in the area with Cree and the hospital project, Nexus, it is a perfect fit for everybody that's coming into the area. So it's a perfect opportunity. It's the right fit. The downtown Utica is a quarter mile away. We're right off the New York State Thruway. And we also have great walkability with fantastic restaurants like Cavallo's, Delmonico's, Babe's Restaurant. So our guests can just walk right out of the hotel and go to these fantastic restaurants. So it has everything that we need and we're looking for. And Utica is always great for us. It's a great uh, city. And everything that's going on is just absolutely fantastic. We couldn't be happier. Great. So. Thanks, Kevin. And like I said, we're excited to show you guys a couple photos of the inside so you can see how beautiful it is as well. Um, so, Kevin, you're going to turn it over to Rakesh. So, Rakesh, come on up. And Rakesh is the Vice President of Operations. And 
Rakesh, tell us about Home Two Suites and what guests can expect when they walk in the doors here. Thank you, Megan, and thank you for uh, putting this event together. And uh, great partnership with the city and, and everybody that's come out here to uh, be part of this event. Uh, I wish you could all come inside. Um, we opened uh, during the pandemic. And uh, I, I can't thank the, the city for all the support, uh, the growth that we've seen here. So a few elements about the hotel. Um, it's an all suites hotel. So when you go into the rooms, they're full kitchenette. So large refrigerators, uh, cooktops, dishwashers. So everything that you need to be at home. And, and that's what it's all about. It's, it's where your family, including your pets. This is a pet friendly hotel. So that's what people enjoy where they can travel with their pets um, and come out here and, and stay. It's geared for people staying multiple nights uh, as opposed to some of our other hotels where it's more of a transient guest. It is um, eco-friendly. And what I mean by eco-friendly, it's made from sustainable materials. And uh, the pool is a saline pool, which is also great for the environment. Uh, it's also a, a tech-friendly hotel. So when you come in with your smartphones, you can open your guest room door with your phone. You could use your phone to operate the TV as a remote and also control your thermostat. So it has a lot of really cool tech features that are uh, in the hotel. The breakfast. Um, one of the unique features about breakfast is that it has all these different toppings. So you can make different oatmeal toppings, different yogurt toppings, and it has a lot of variety for people that are coming in. And since they are staying for a long period, the outdoor spaces are also excellent. You have two patios uh, on either side of the building. There's a fire pit there. Um, you have um, uh, the fire pits, the grills. So really a lot of great outdoor space to complement the, the indoor features too. So really a, a great fit for families, uh, corporate guests, uh, for everybody. Great. Thanks, for cash. I know that made me want to stay here for sure, <laughs> along with my dog. And I should mention, too, as you mentioned with the phone, that's actually really great for contact, right, with COVID. And you yes. can kind of control everything and not have to worry about touching a lot of things as well. So that's awesome. Exactly. Um, okay, so next up, you are going to turn it over to Brandy. Brandy, come on up. And Brandy Shively is the Regional Performance Support Manager. And so speaking of COVID, Brandy, so... You know, people might be a little bit nervous about traveling and coming places, and you guys have done a fantastic job making sure everybody stays safe. So tell us about that. Absolutely. So uh, I was actually very excited to answer this question. On first, I did want to thank everybody as well for coming. We are so excited to see everybody here. Um, when we talk about uh, everything going on with COVID and how our hotel is stepping up in their cleanliness and procedures and protocol for sanitization, one of the first things that we did was we embraced the Hilton's Clean Stay program. And what that program is, it is an innovative, new leading technology with Hilton they have rolled out to make sure that all of our guests and our, so our staff and associates are safe. So when we talk about what that includes when we roll that out, it starts with the digital key check-in. So we have embraced that program. It's rolled out at our hotel. What that means is you don't even have to stop at the front desk to check in or check out during your stay. You can do everything from your Hilton mobile app right on your phone, including, as Rakesh said, opening your door. But it doesn't stop there. Uh, when you enter your room, we have all new guest cleanliness procedures that all of our staff has been trained on. That includes new remote cling wrappers that cover your remote to ensure nobody else has touched it. And the biggest feature is what we call the door room seal. And what that door room seal is, it's a sticker that goes on the side of the door and on the door, and it only breaks when you've opened it. So you know when you see that solid seal that nobody else has entered your room. That room has been verified, checked by staff to ensure it's 100% sanitized, 100% clean, and it's ready just for you. Mm -hmm. So in addition to that, when you go in the room, uh, Hilton has partnered with Lysol. So all of the chemicals used inside of the room are approved. They are approved uh, COVID-19 combating chemicals. We use Lysol wipes within, within the room. Our, guests, our staff is required to use Lysol spray within that room as well before putting that sticker back on that door. Now, when it comes to outside the room, all of our public area is sanitized in a routine schedule, and it's logged to ensure that we are keeping every single area of the hotel safe for you. And then as you leave, again, you can use that digital key checkout. And the last part of that is our staff members. So our staff members are the ones that are delivering that service to you. Each one has been uniquely trained through the Clean State program from our front desk to our engineering and even into our housekeeping. So no matter where you are in the hotel or who you run into within our hotel, we've 100% been trained to take care of you during your stay. That's great. All awesome protocols. Yeah. So thank you, Brandy, for sharing. Absolutely. Okay, and Brandy's going to turn it over to Hemet Patel. So, Hemet, you want to come on up? Back to Hemet. 
And Hemet is the chief performance officer. And I think you have a couple people to thank who are here. Of course, we're yes. all socially distanced. Hopefully we can see everybody on the video as well. So yes, why don't you yes. guys do some thank yous, Hemet? So um, we came to this uh, best little city in America over 10 years ago now. And, um, you know, we started by uh, one hotel in the market. Then we added two. And this just became better and better uh, here in the city of Utica. And it's a wonderful place, 65,000 residents, but there's so much going on here. And, um, you know, we find it to be the easiest city in America to work with as well because of all the partnerships that we've developed here. And um, there are many people to thank, and I'm going to take a few minutes. Uh, typically, I can remember these, but there's so <laughs> many people to remember, and I don't want to forget anybody. So, as I said earlier, the city of Utica, we have met with Mr. Mayor at 9 o'clock at night. He's willing to come meet with us at 6 a.m. Uh, again, this is uh, you know private part private public partnership at its best. Um, so thank you, Mr. Mayor, for all of your support. Um, along with the the city with Mr. Mayor is um, Dan Coza, uh, Chief Building Inspector, who was so good to work with. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, projects uh, always have a little bit of a hiccup. We work together in resolving them and meeting all the requirements. Um, Mr. Gerald Foster, Fire Marshal, thank you very much. Uh, Jack Spaeth, uh, Executive Director of the Industrial Development Agency. I believe he was not able to make it today. Uh, but again, thank you, Jack, for all of your support. And also, I'd like to thank Andy Patel, our Chief Development Officer, who could not be here with us today. Uh, then we certainly can't do this without funding. That's a big piece here. So I have to really reach out and thank Tom Sinat and the Bank of Utica, Barry, give a wave, Barry, <laughs> Brian Laughlin. Thank you very much. Uh, even during these uh, you know, very difficult times, uh, we're all aware of uh, how difficult it's been since March. These gentlemen have stood behind this project without wavering at any point in time. So thank you for your continued support. Um, our Hilton brand partners, uh, of course, they are not here either, but uh, we, we have to thank them. The, the brand is strong, and they are very supportive through all of uh, our, our developments here in the city of Utica. Uh, Bill Duncan, Tom Lorenzo, and Karen Whitman, uh, we wish you could be with us here today, uh, but we'll look forward to seeing you the next time. There will be a next time. Yes. <laughs> Joining us today. Again, another example of public-private uh, partnership. Uh, we have U.S. Congressman for the 22nd District, Anthony Brandisi. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, New York Assemblywoman, Marion Buttonshawn. Did I get that right? <laughs> uh, representing the city of Utica and the Mohawk Valley. Uh, this was unexpected by me, and I'm honored to have both of you here. So thank you very much for taking time and joining us. Um, and of course, our beloved chamber, uh, Megan and Angela putting all this together, uh, us being the first one, uh, that's brave, you know, so thank you for putting it all together. And uh, we very much appreciate the chamber's support. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I look good up here, right? Uh, you know, built a building, done a few of them. Um, but you know what? I can't take the credit for it. I am smart enough to surround myself with smarter people, harder working people that make me look good. Okay. So, you know, with that, I have to give a shout out to some of the folks in the company who made this possible. Without them, we certainly would not be able to be standing here today. So our vice president of construction, Tom Sawyer, uh, project manager who was here for, I think, 14 months. Typically a project takes us uh, about 12 months. Uh, with some interruptions since March, I think it was around 17 months. Uh, so he was on the job for 17 months, uh, Tim Brown. Um, Nayan Patel, he's our Director of uh, Design and Purchasing. Uh, Kayur Patel, he is our, our Hotel Opening Manager, so he camped out here the last eight weeks making sure the hotel was guest ready, uh, code enforcement ready, fire marshal ready, city ready. <laughs> Uh, Kalpin Patel, construction finance. Uh, he basically handles all the funds that come in that the Bank of Utica provides to us and makes sure that it's spent properly. 
in our operations department, uh, Manesh Patel, he's our chief financial officer. So he also works with the bank on uh, getting the funds. So, uh, and then of course we've met Rakesh, our VP of operation and uh, works with Brandy, who is our performance, uh, our regional performance manager, uh, who uh, helps this hotel as well as all of our hotels in the Mohawk Valley. Kevin Bartlett, you all know Kevin. Uh, if you don't know him, uh, there you are. <laughs> Next, uh, I'd like to bring up uh, Renee. She's our new general manager. Come on up and join us, Renee. <laughs> so I like to say that uh, construction is the easy part here. Okay? <laughs> They're in here for 18 months. They build the building. But then we all have to make it work for the next 20 years, and that's the hard part. And Renee is part of that team. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. Thank you to the chamber. My name is Renee. I joined this property on the first day it opened. I was a Visions employee, but I started here on the first day. I would like to point out my staff or my team members that um, have made my transition to this property absolutely amazing. And I'm not going to say effortless because there are, you know, there are things I need to navigate and figure out, but have made it so much better. Um, our executive housekeeper, Jennifer Conklin. Jennifer is the executive housekeeper, but when I tell you, she's more than that. She can do maintenance. She can do front office management. She is my right hand, and I appreciate her, and she's probably one of the hardest people and working people I've ever met. Um, Jennifer has an amazing team. She has, and please raise your hand, she has Nor. She has Livia, Leonard, and Ermias. And they all work hard with the Lysol Clean Stay. You know, these are uh, difficult times with the cleanliness, and they are working to achieve every goal of, that Hilton has put forward. Also, my front office desk, Karina. Karina is one of my newest front office girls who is doing an amazing job. She's caught on really quick. She's excellent with customer service, and I'm really happy to have her on board. And I want to thank also Lee Arthur, who is the Double Tree General Manager, who has the task of helping me become an amazing GM like he is. Thank you very much. Thanks, Renee. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have heard from you, everybody Renee. all about Home Two Suites here. I know I am dying to stay here. Even maybe we'll do a little staycation, right? Um, because we can't. I need to change, even though we're all <laughs> around. So um, we need you guys to make sure that you check it out for yourselves. We are going to post all the links you need to make sure that you can find out more information about Home Two Suites. Of course, we hope that you watch the the video and everybody today. Please share this with everybody in the community. This is a time where community support is so, so important, and we need to make sure that we're spreading the word about all of our area businesses so they stay open. That is our number one goal, and they stay successful. So please share the video today. And now we're going to get to the meat and potatoes, right? the ribbon cutting. So, uh, Hemant, here, I'm going to take that microphone from you. And if I can say one word, um, we are going to have a grand opening party. Maybe it'll be a year from now. And all of you that are watching, we're going to invite you in. We're going to have drinks and snacks and just celebrate. We're just going to put it on hold for now. So thank you all very all right, much. So Thanks, on the Hannah. count of three, we will day, declare right? this our yes, official yes. ribbon cutting for the grand opening of Home Two Suites Hotel here, uh, right here on North Genesee Street in Utica, New York. Are you guys ready? Help me count, everybody. One, two, three. Great job. Okay, again, everybody, thanks for tuning in with us, and please share this video to get some exposure for Home Two Suites. Thank you, everyone.